heard that one? Of course you have. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on how to play some classic folk and Americana harmonica. Um, no, this is not about exactly what to play because there's loads of videos telling you if you wanted to play the Piano Man or something. But a lot of students come up and sort of say, I want to play this uh, Americana piece or this, this classic harmonica intro. And often they've already had a few lessons so they can play clear single notes. And what I say to them can sometimes be surprising. I have to say, imagine like you've had no harmonica lessons and you can barely play a single note um, and try and make your playing very raggedy. What do I mean by raggedy? You know, like losing your embouchure a little bit, not playing a clear single note. So if I just take Piano Man as an example, yeah, I've got a harmonica rack, and you know, it's worth bearing in mind that a lot of people, when they wrote these songs, when they wrote the, or the harmonica parts, which they recorded in the studio, they're, they're probably guitarists and they just play the harmonica occasionally or now and again. So the harmonica is very much becomes like an effect of the song rather than, I mean, then it becomes an integral part because it's recorded and everyone recognizes the harmonica part and they're like, wow, I want to really be able to play that. But at the time, it was probably just played by a guitarist with a rack in the studio, and it might be it might have been semi-improvised. They might have had a little part, but so you can hear that in the rack playing that when it's very raggedy and almost like imprecise, and that's what gives it its beauty in a way. So if I just take Piano Man saying. play that as like a almost like a trained harmonica player would with good single notes and put on a bit of tremolo and so yeah you know that's it's almost making it very clean, but it's kind of lost the essence of of what made it so magical to many people in the first place in the way it was good. So, so I would say if anyone wanted to, to learn that, yes, take your basic riff, then try playing it sloppily. That sounds more authentic than the previous one, I think. Because what we're doing there is sort of re recreating how someone would play it on the rack. I mean, you could, if you play guitar, then let's try and... <laughs> you know, similar with... Uh... Recognise that one? The answer is blowing in the wind. Same thing, if you tried to play that like a someone who'd probably had, you know, maybe a, three or four harmonica lessons. You know, playing blowing in the wind very cleanly. So again, if you want to sound more like authentic, more like Bob Dylan, try uh, forgetting the technique you've learned on the single notes and imagine just sort of playing it quite slightly roughly oh i can't help it i was doing a bit of vibrato no vibrato allowed and this is no criticism of bob dylan um it's just that if you wanted to be more authentic in the way you play these things, you'd have to replicate the way that it was recorded. Uh, or a Neil Young one, maybe.
haven't played that for a while. It's almost there, isn't it? Heart of Gold. Okay, the recording of that is probably a little bit cleaner than the Bob Dylan and other stuff, but again, you know, you'd have to... Putting in some chords with a sloppy embouchure. And if you did want to learn those things, I'd say probably the best way would be to just listen to it over and over again, trying to pick up those little um, idiosyncrasies in the parts, the sloppy chords uh, and uh, the plain double notes, you know, where you, rather than a single note. Just trying to make your embouchure sloppy. So you're almost going to have to forget your, forget your harmonica technique if you, if you wanted to remain authentic. Otherwise, you can, you know, you're going to be cleaning, cleaning them up and playing everything with clear single notes and your vibrato and your and your other techniques. So it depends what kind of what kind of effect you want. But that's more about authenticity to to a lot of folk and and classic sort of Americana harmonica. Okay, thanks very much. We've been here at the Harmonica Barge. Uh, subscribe if you like the videos, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.